No matter what has happened, everything will be all right. Welcome back to our channel. Here, we bring you relationship advice from a Christian perspective. And this is a continuation of the previous video on how to know if you are in a relationship with a narcissist. Today, we are going further to provide solutions to someone who feels trapped in such a relationship. How do you get out of such a relationship? Breaking up with a narcissist can be tough and even intimidating. Their need for control and manipulation can make ending things feel overwhelming. But if you're ready to take that step, doing it quietly, calmly, and thoughtfully can help you break free with as little drama as possible. In this video, we'll go over some essential steps to help you break up with a narcissist quietly and effectively. And Before you end things, it's crucial to understand what makes breaking up with a narcissist different from a regular breakup. Narcissists often react poorly to rejection and may try to manipulate you into staying or punish you emotionally for leaving. Knowing this upfront can help you prepare mentally for a more strategic approach. Remember, the goal is to stay calm and detached. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Commit your situation to God. He cares for you even when you have made a mistake. He still wants to bring you to a place of peace. This topic is for both those who are single and married. First things first, make a plan. Think about where you'll go, what you'll say, and how you'll manage any shared responsibilities, such as housing or finances. If you think the narcissist might react aggressively, consider breaking up in a public space or have a friend nearby. Your safety and well-being come first. Narcissists are skilled at twisting words and pulling you into lengthy discussions. So keep your message short and direct. For example, you could say, this relationship isn't right for me anymore. I've made up my mind and I think it's best for us to go our separate ways. Don't explain, argue, or get drawn into a debate. The simpler, the better. Narcissists often see emotional vulnerability as an opportunity to manipulate. Stick to a neutral, unemotional tone. Avoid statements like, I feel or I hope you understand, and keep the focus on what you need to move forward. Saying, this is what I need, sets a boundary and leaves little room for argument. Narcissists don't like to lose control, so they may try to contact you repeatedly after the breakup. Consider a clean break, such as no contact or minimal contact if you share children or other responsibilities. Block their phone number or social media profiles if necessary. Each boundary you set is a step toward your independence and healing. Be prepared for the narcissist to react with anger, charm, or guilt tripping. They may promise to change or even try to convince you it's your fault. These tactics are designed to manipulate your emotions and pull you back in. Stay firm, remember why you're leaving, and don't engage. You're ending things for a reason. Hold on to that. Breaking up with a narcissist can be isolating, so don't hesitate to lean on trusted friends, family, or a therapist. 
sharing your experience with someone who understands can help you process the relationship and avoid second guessing your decision. Breaking free from a narcissistic relationship isn't easy, but it's an important step toward a healthier, happier future. Take things one step at a time, stay calm, and don't let them pull you back in. You deserve a relationship that respects your boundaries and makes you feel safe. Thanks for watching. And remember, you're not alone on this journey. To close off, if you have enjoyed this video, please kindly subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button below. There is more to add, but in summary, here we are just offering an informative video that encourages and supports you, our viewers, while emphasizing the importance of boundaries, safety, and emotional well-being. Feel free to share your thoughts, views, and suggestions in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you next time.